Hello, 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 and welcome back to the Three Up Moon live stream. It is Sunday. Happy Sunday, everyone. Sunday, March twelfth, twenty twenty-three. We are diving into another episode of our retro roulette, which is our alliteration and rhyming themed wheel. Uh, what is this? Well, every single day from about 5 or 6 p.m. Pacific, you can catch me here on twitch.tv slash 3up underscore moon doing retro games, revisiting retro games, uh, essentially playing through them and maybe talking about their sound design or playing through a mod or randomized version of that game where elements of that game are shuffled and then you can basically have a new experience every time you play. This series, The Retro Roulette, is a series that's the most interactive that we do on the stream, and the way it works is I've spent a bunch of time curating themed lists of games from Atari 2600 all the way up to N64 and PS1. And today's theme uh, and wheel list theme is uh, alliteration and rhyming, so games that have either main characters or titles that contain alliteration or rhyme. Um, lots of games in this list, things like Double Dragon, things like Bubble Bobble, that whole series, games starring Bugs Bunny or Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck. The way that the Retro Roulette stream works is that I usually do an initial spin at the very beginning of the stream, and then you can spin that wheel anytime you like for 420 Moonstones, and every time the wheel is spun, I gotta stop what I'm doing and we play a completely different game. So the initial spin today gets us Fatal Fury 2. So we're going to be going into a classic fighting game. We played a little bit of Fatal Fury 1, I think, a couple of episodes ago. And this is part 12 of our alliteration and rhyming themed series. We do this with all sorts of different themes. Spooky and horror themed games. Sci-fi and alien themed games. Games about food and cooking and eating and... Even games that are all about the mind, brain training, puzzle games, and dreams. Anything that our mind perceives. So stick around, it won't be too long. We'll be diving into Fatal Fury 2 on the Super Nintendo as our first game for the night. I want to say thanks to Bad Rhymer for the recent follow, and Directional Joy for the recent 11 community gift subs. Really appreciate it. MVP of the channel. If you're watching on YouTube right now, like I said, this is part 12, so you probably got here through the playlist of alliteration and rhyming themed games, or through the the uh, the main channel. Every one of my streams gets uploaded there in full, so if you want to check it out on your own time, feel free to. And on Wednesdays and Thursdays, we usually do daytime streams around 10 a.m. Pacific. We'll be starting very shortly.
Okay, we're just prepping some stuff here, so I'm going to dive in in just a second. Thanks for hanging out.
we are finally here. Thank you for bearing with me for a little extended intro there. Hello. Happy Sunday. Let's dive into our first alliteration and rhyming themed game today. Fatal Fury 2. Oh, I mean, it was working. <laughs> Let me know if it's too loud, too quiet. Interesting. There's seven difficulty levels. Let's try it out. So we played Fatal Fury 1 a couple episodes ago. Got different characters to choose from. There we go. Let's give it a shot. So yeah, just like the first one, you've got the two planes of the, the battlefield here that you can kind of hop between two. Ooh, interesting. Oh. Oofed. Dang. Greeny boy took us out. So Terry Bogard, I believe, is a playable character in Super Smash. And I always thought Terry Bogard was just from the King of Fighters series, but I didn't realize that the King of Fighters series is actually just a part of the Fatal Fury series. There's connections. <clears throat> Close. We landed two good hits though. Two good kicks. Now, obviously for context, I'm not fantastic at this game. I didn't really grow up with this kind of 1v1 fighting, uh, like arcade fighting style game, except for Mortal Kombat 1 and 2. But I was all about the beat em ups. <laughs> That's cool. We collide in midair along the two planes. Thanks. Yes. And 
we just dodged it too. Yo-ho, Stegosaurus McCartney, welcome to the stream. Did I do the 103%? Not on stream. We got to 101%, and then I read uh, a faulty game guide and ended the stream and thought, okay, I might have softlocked myself because I traded myself the mirror, or I traded the, the mirror that I had to um, baffle first. So there's two bears, baffle and barter. And I traded it to baffle first. I should have traded it to, to barter because when you trade it to baffle, apparently I read this guide erroneously that said, um, once you trade it to Baffle first, you have to start over from scratch because you can't get the mirror back because it disappears forever. You can't buy it back from Baffle. You can only buy it back from Barter. But it turns out that was false, but I ended my stream already. <laughs> uh, but basically, we cleared the Lost World in the last stream. And I was like, aw, oh, it softlocked me. I guess I'm screwed. Okay, let's go raid someone. And I raided someone, and then I found out that that was not the case. Pretty funny situation. If you think about it, if you think about it for too long, it's not that funny. But if you just think about it for a sliver of a second, it might elicit a chuckle or two. <laughs> Better start over. <laughs> At least on the recorded stream, I haven't finished it at 103%, but I, I'm just going to go finish it. I'll probably just do it on a Discord stream. <laughs> it's definitely a win, absolutely. But I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed playing um, Donkey Kong Country 3 again and, and trying to go for the bonus barrels. It is a challenge. I still don't understand how people did that as a kid, and it blows my mind that that was your first first game that you completed. A lot of cool extra content. Um, a lot of cool things to collect. Very fun to revisit. It's definitely the most different in the three, for sure. And still... My favorites are Donkey Kong Country 2, then Donkey Kong Country 1, and then DKC3, if I had to pick. If I had to order them, it would be 2, 1, and 3. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> uh, uh, ooh, uh. Maybe next time you'll be more of a challenge. So this is our first game of the day. We played the first, the first game in this series a couple weeks ago. Yeah, had a had a long work day. Lots of lots of stuff. It went by really fast. I mean, we lost an hour. We all went through involuntary time travel. So I don't even know what up what up or down is or what what sweet or sour is anymore. <laughs> but at least we saved the daylight, right? <clears throat> Apparently the daylight was gonna die and we needed to save it. It was time to be savings the day the daylight, I believe, is what it's called. Something like that. Well, don't you know it's times to be saving the daylights? I'll save the daylights out of here. <laughs> this is Street Fighter, but not Street Fighter. Yeah, it's uh, so it's its own series called Fatal Fury, which I think is connected to the King of Fighters series. And this character is actually playable in Super Smash, the one I'm playing as, Terry. But it's actually pretty good. It's it's fun to play. I played this. Uh, I played the first one before, and I also played the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, what's it called? Tournament Fighters, I think, on the Genesis. And it kind of controls like that. It's got some cool combos, and there's two planes to the the fighting field, or the arena. So we can kind of hop back and forth. I'm not sure which game first introduced that, but... 
the uh, Dragon Ball Z Hyper Dimension game on Super Nintendo, which I think was only av available in Europe and Japan, has the same thing. Like, see how we're on the same plane, but he, he can leave it. I just left it. But you can do some cool moves, even between the planes like that. Like jump from the foreground to the background. And to me, I didn't mean to do that. To me, that kind of makes this feel a little unique. A little more unique than, you know, there's lots of games kind of like this. Oh. This was made by SNK. Oh. Oh. He likes his dive bomb. That's what it sounds like. Dive bomb. Dive bomb. They do sound like old men. <laughs> they sound like country for old men. Like nothing on this earth. Like nothing on this earth. I did not mean to load there. Oh my god. <laughs> the load button is so close to one of my other buttons. Speaking of time travel, involuntary time travel. <laughs> What you mean if you know what I mean. Okay, let's change our character up. Perhaps Joe has something to say about it. Oh, we got a wheel spin. Okay, I'll do this, I'll do this one attempt. And then we're spinning. He's a fast puncher. <laughs> oh, my ankle, my toe, my toe. <laughs> Doof. All right. Let's get the music going and let's spin that wheel. This will be the first time that we are spinning today. Let's do it. We are spinning the wheel and it's landing on game number 343. So let's see which game with alliteration or rhyming are we going to play today. Ooh, we got Micro Machines on the Game Boy Advance, so let's switch this up. I grew up with the uh, NES Mi Micro Machines game. It's actually quite fun. Different vehicles, uh, different racing tracks uh, each level, but different vehicles each level as well, which is kind of neat. And we've also, I think we might have played the Sega Genesis one before, but not the Game Boy Advance one. Stick around.
Oh, okay, so the Game Boy Advance one isn't seeming like it's working. So let's uh, let's try the Super Nintendo one, because we haven't tried that one. I grew up with the NES version, and we played a little bit of the Genesis one. There's actually a sequel to this as well I've never tried. But we'll do the Super Nintendo Micro Machines. <laughs> Just like the very first stream I did. On the WWWB. <laughs> Okay, I'll be right back. With some micro machines on Super Nintendo.
Alright, I'm back. Zombie Paper, welcome in. You have a funny idea for a broadcast. What if it was just streams about to begin? The whole time it's just you hanging out with us, but for like three hours. Well, thanks. Thanks for the passive-aggressive... ...tone. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm only saying that because you said don't worry. I didn't mean it passive-aggressively. <laughs> Now's your chance to be a big shot. Zombie. <laughs> um, that would be, you know what, as a um, uh, Fantastic Plastics stream, I, I really liked, um, like, as another streamer watching their stream, I guess I should form my sentence completely and then say it, as another streamer watching Fantastic Plastics stream recently, I really liked how they had different scenes, and they could realistically just do a three hour just hanging out, just chatting stream but constantly be swapping from scene to scene to scene. Like, that's just a really neat idea. Almost like running your own television station back in the day, from space. So we tried making the, these uh, non-bake, sort of just like grilled bread today, like just now, and then it turned out quite good. a flatbread with our sourdough starter turned out really really good sync so I have to re uh, refresh my controller but that's okay uh, I see a few more people are watching as well welcome in happy Sunday we are doing some retro games that all have alliteration or rhyming in the title so we're ripping some uh, micro machines we were doing some fatal fury 2 earlier bear with me while I 
fix this. Oh, nice, you're feeling better. That's great. That's a good sign. Probably just a, a cold. Like a pretty rough cold, but... Okay. I think we should be there. I think we should be there. Ocean. Uh oh. oh. This is already not like the NES one. At least musically. Ocean did not make the NES one. But they made the. Pugsley Scavenger Hunt game, and I believe all of the really awful Robocop games, which for some reason I thought Robocop 2 on the NES was a good game when I was a kid, in my original collection, but it is not. <laughs> it does not hold up. The movies are great. That game, not so much. Now this is a completely different soundtrack. Ocean also made the like Adam's Family games where you play as Gomez and you you travel through the different houses or through the mansion and different rooms. Not that great. They've yet to impress me. These are just <laughs> we can say upscaled graphics from the NES game. Same characters. Let's be wild, Emilio. Literally an entire new soundtrack than the NES one. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what color. vehicle we have in this race. Usually you, you, it's, you're just always the same the same color. I think it's usually it's usually white in the NES game. So for here it's yellow.
hamburg and waffles. Maybe because they knew. Yeah, it's the Twitch integration, actually. With the 3-up moon. We just, uh... Put our stream key into the game at the very beginning. And then we got, uh, we got a yellow vehicle. desktop, drop off, breakfast bands. I think every single track in this game is named that way. I mean, hey, fantastic plastics even rhymes. How perfect is that? Get with the times, get with the rhymes. See today's screenshot, cartoon screenshot on the the stream is from SpongeBob SquarePants, which of course is a show that contains alliteration, and that basically describes how I feel about daylight savings time in that, that crabby ass face. <laughs> I personally like Daylight Savings Parsley and Daylight Savings Sage over Daylight Savings Time. It just usually goes better with the things I cook with. I'm the Daylight Savings Sage, thank you. If you would like something special, Go and retrieve the green pendant from the Eastern Palace. So, Hosmer, I'll see you later. <laughs> you like daylight savings allspice. Nice. If you're gonna save it, might as well save it all, right? Oof, we filed. Pretty obvious that we were going to, though. Just because of the, the screw ups on that uh, <laughs> that ruler bridge. And it really is amazing what a soundtrack can do to a game because it this uh, there's a lot of like lackluster, quick little musical stings, as opposed to like pretty funky. Fun to listen to music from the NES one. It's weird. The NES one, I believe, is made by Codemasters. Same people who made the uh, Quattro 4 in 1 carts and the Adventures of Dizzy, like Treasure Island Dizzy, Adventures of Dizzy. Or I think, no, sorry, Dizzy the Adventure is the name of it, but it's a, it's a UK company that made games for NES, Genesis, SNES. 
which is kind of odd that they they didn't have anything to do with it. So the ocean basically just made like a a port of the NES one. Just about to say it as I let it happen. Yes. Face the competition. <laughs> These vehicles are called warriors. Warriors come out and play. The next stage is always where the difficulty cranked up. For me, at least. Because they introduce a lot of areas where you can kind of fall out of bounds. So far, these these levels are giving you like a little bit of free reign. There's obstacles on the, the table. You can't go off the track though. <clears throat> and with these vehicles, you can actually, as you saw there, take each other out, do enough damage. Joy, how's it going? We didn't do a shout out to uh, Zombie Paper yet. So let's do that. Uh, happy Sunday. I, I grew up with this one on the NES. We're playing, uh, we're doing the retro roulette today, so basically we're playing games that are all themed around their title or their main character. Everything has alliteration 
or rhyming in the title. It's kind of our weird, obscure uh, theme. <laughs> oh, it's because I, it's because I sh I shouted you out first. It it times us out. That's silly. But yeah, we do different themes for the retro roulette, and for this one, um, this is kind of like the the more recent curated list that we've done. Uh, this is episode twelve of us doing this, and we started off with Fatal Fury two. We're doing some micro machines here, and we can actually keep going, or someone can spin the wheel, and we'll play a different game. There's over eight hundred games in the list. And we've also uh, I do this with spooky and horror themed games. I do this uh, with dream and the mind and perception themed games. Uh, that's one of my favorites. It's got a lot of puzzle games, brain training games. Good stuff. And I was noting that uh, the original game was made by Codemasters, which is a UK developer. And Ocean, who made the Robocop NES games, a couple of NES Adams Family games, which are very difficult. Um, and aren't really known for making fantastic games, in my opinion. I don't know, I've yet to play an ocean game that I was like, wow, I love that game. But maybe I'm just forgetting that Ocean made it. So this is Turbo Wheels. This is the, the track where, as a kid, playing the NES version, this is where the difficulty kind of cranks up a little bit. At least for me. So we'll see if I can remember the track still. Whoa. But yeah, I had these toys growing up too, the Micro Machines actual playset. They were sort of, uh, well, it was it was sort of like a, a van that you could, yeah, I used safe states in the race, that's funny. Uh, it was sort of a van that you could uh, open up into like a, a full city, and then you could, you know, use Micro Machines, the tiny little Hot Wheels, essentially. Codemasters also made, um, Oh, maybe. Did they do simulation-style racers in their later years? I know them for uh, the Adventures of Dizzy. Or, sorry, I always say that. Adventures of Dizzy. Dizzy the Adventurer. Dizzy's uh, Island. Treasure Island or something like that. There's a whole bunch of games. They're like um, point-and-click adventure games, kind of. We got some interesting music going on. We've played them a few times. Basically, you're an anthropomorphic egg. I do it every time. This was my issue as a kid, too. I was trying to figure out... Just the timing, even, with this jump. Or this turn, rather. Whoa. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I forget. There's like two or three spots that always trap me. So it might be hard to qualify. But we'll just have to... Whoa. Try and cheese it, maybe? Great. <laughs> wow. Uh, they did Grid. Interesting. Codemasters did Grid later on. He never played it, but it, was, it appeared to be well appreciated as a series. Yeah, I totally remember. That, uh, that game. Interesting. So you think they went from that to this? This is gonna be bad, but maybe we can catch up. Definitely during that time when racers were like RC Pro Am style. Definitely. I like RC Pro Am, and it, it also it's pretty funny that uh, it was actually developed by the same team that worked on Donkey Kong Country. Rare. from RC Pro-Am to Diddy Kong Racing. He 
you tried Stunt Race FX recently, and despite your fond memories, it did not hold up. <laughs> this is just the same situation when I was a kid. I always got locked up. In this... This loop of this track. Just let him win. Is there a way to... Doesn't seem to be a way to like restart it. Sometimes we liked it because we had no other option. Yeah, that's true. The only game you had or the only, you know, you rented that game so that's just what you got. But that's, you know, going back to the, the Robocop 2 game I was talking about earlier. On the NES, I I just equated it with like you know some really solid games and just in my memory, and I revisited it recently and it's it's not good at all. Like it's super janky, really really unresponsive. But I played it a lot, despite you know it not being a great game. It's like definitely didn't age well for sure. But like I said, love the movies. Okay, let's try this from the top at least. Regarding the 3DS eShop, you buckled and purchased all the Pokemon games. So you picked up Mario 3, Super Mario World, Link to the Past, Super Metroid, some classics. Nice. Donkey Kong Country 1 and, and 2. Oh, cool. So you can play them all on the 3DS. Can you imagine if they added the 3D? Capabilities to something like DKC2 or even a link to the past. Those are some good ones.
10 year old me would be jumping for joy right now. That's difficult as hell. <laughs> Adding 3D to classics would be so cool. They did do it with some uh, Kirby's Adventure, I think, they have in 3D. You saw they did that with some classic titles. Gunstar Heroes being the one that caught your eye. Ooh. That would be interesting. Uh, they re The remake of Gunstar Heroes on Game Boy Advance actually adds a bunch of different stuff. I didn't know that. It's not just a port. Ah, yes, that's right. I forgot about this. The triple win. That's That right there is like uh, a three-up moment. So that's as close to a three-up moment as we're going to get. Of course, drop those emotes. And now we are... Uh, <laughs> Gotta do, we gotta do this beat the clock here. The rough trucks time trials. Let's go. Gives you 42 seconds. What? Holy crap. Uh, we're off-roading right now. That's cool. Oh. <laughs> Such an old man. How do I access emotes on mobile? I don't even know. I don't use mobile. Typically, I actually don't even own a phone. Which I should probably get at some point. Oh no. Not since 21 odd 13. 20 not 13. Not since the year 20,013. Yes, I have lived the last decade phoneless. Pr press the smile button on the lower... Press the smile button on the lower right. Will Dr. Directional Joy please press the smile button on the lower right parking lot? Your emote is triple parked. In a loading zone. <laughs> What? Okay, what do you what do you really want from us? You want me to pretend that this is fun? Ocean? Come on. <laughs> uh just for, for my family, I communicate usually in like uh, different apps like chat apps and stuff, but like I do not own a phone. I typically don't like consume social media on a phone or watch stuff on phones. Ooh, nice, you did it. You did it. Maybe there's a better way to do this. Slow and steady. Call me Freddy. Oh, you're really gonna do that? It disqualified me, because we went around. Yeah. Yeah, I think... I think it wants us to... That's right. gonna send us back either way. That's annoying. This might be the laziest paused artwork as well, or paused text. It's like, wow, congratulations. What? I could have just done that. That's dumb. Fight me.
Let's do it. Let's have some fun. Oh, I wasn't having fun? <laughs> Spin that wheel. That's it. No b****, Emilio. Sorry. We're gonna spin that wheel, and the way this works, anyone can spin the wheel for 420 moonstones, and I don't have an actual wheel, but we can pretend we do. Bing. It's landing on game number 200 today. A little 200. What is game number 200 gonna be? It's gonna have rhyming, or it's going to have alliteration in <laughs> the title, and it looks like we're going to be playing a PC Engine or TurboGrafx-16 game called <laughs> Boxy Boy. Good old Boxy Boy on the PC Engine and TurboGrafx-16. Stick around.
<laughs> Challenge America. So this is America, folks. This is a classic game. I don't know what you call this, but... I'm not sure what the original would be called. But, uh, password is Angle. Um, I've definitely played games like this on shareware floppy disks, which might tell my age. And then also, I've played games like this on old school PCs as well, like on DOS. Very cool. Yeah, there's lots of options with OBS. It's free, and there's and there's lots of cool cool things you can do with integration. Oh. That's weird. Press the wrong button. Hmm. as well as going to college and being impressed by zip disks. <laughs>
Nothing we can really do. Here we go. Solving it. Solving it. We solved it. Ding. Yo, I would absolutely play Adventures of Lobos, thinking it's. <laughs> thinking of that, I just keep thinking of the band Los Lobos. I didn't know they had their own game. No, I think you're thinking of Adventures of Lolo. Close. There's the Adventures of Lolo 1, 2, and 3. But now I think we need to make a game called the Adventures of Lobos. <laughs> and you play as all the, all the members of Los Lobos. And you can swap with select, just like Donkey Kong Country. All the characters. <laughs> But th those games are, this definitely is very similar. Those games give you like the ability to also like shoot um, items as well. Not easy. Um, and I remember spending hours and hours and hours playing The Adventures of Lolo 2. I had two and three. Very, very, very fun games. Um, very challenging. They're sort of just like random games. It, the games are made by HAL, actually. Same creators of uh, Super Smash and Kabuki Quantum Fighter and the Kirby games. Oh, we got that poll. It finished up. What letter will get the most votes? It looks like C is the one. It's always C, right? C got the most votes for that poll. Nice. Passwords blaze. I like it. <coughs> we screwed up. But yeah, very similar vibes. We also screwed up. The music in the Adventures of Lolo games are, are, is really good. Um, the difficulty ramp up. It's pretty challenging. There's some there's some really good ROM hacks out there too. If you want to, uh, if you get really good at those two games and you want to play some more custom made levels, some people have made some pretty cool ones. Mostly just level hacks.
<laughs> we screwed ourselves, didn't we? Damn. Yep. What order do you do this in? So bad. Let's just change up the level. See if that helps with our brain. this if there's just the two buttons oh that's some fishy nonsense <laughs> the wrong button. So we didn't have to restart. I gotta do some more exploring before I come to, to conclusions in video games. I think that's the lesson of the week. Because we can just do this. Oh, maybe not. Oh, 
Maybe not. That's annoying. Okay, well, you know what? It looks like we're gonna have to leave America. Because we're spinning that wheel. Let's do it. It'll be our fourth game of the stream today. We're spinning and it's landing on game number 281. Goofy Grotto 7. It is a ROM hack of Super Mario World on the Super Nintendo. That's what's up next. Stick around.
Uh, so this is just going to be the one level, Goofy Grotto. Hmm, what if there was a channel point redemption for switching the retro roulette? That'd be kind of cool. But then it would be impossible for me to sort them into playlists. For my brain in YouTube. <laughs> that would be the only downside. You mean spinning the wheel on the wheel theme? So, I think... There'll be a level called Goofy Grotto. If not, we can play just a bunch of these. Star Road. Let's see. So this is actually part of a collaborative hack. This this is Goofy Grotto, for sure. This is the level. But this is part of a collaborative hack where you're not playing as Mario, obviously. And it all runs off the same engine, but um, you got different people making different levels. And contributing. Kind of like a community project. I don't know what the, the full title is, but we have a bunch of these levels kind of separate. aesthetic here with the uh, the colors with the the combination of, of, of the the earth tiles or ground tiles oh. great those are the <laughs> the rip van fish look at these things this is funny the faces like the pencil statue, the iron pencil statue, but it's terrified, like from uh, Earthbound. <laughs> uh, I really like the uh, graphical aesthetic in this level. It's very goofy, hence the title. This is cool. <laughs> That's what it's from. We we have a, a sticker in our um, we have a sticker in our Discord. The Boobo. This is where it's from. The Boobo. It's the Boobo. here if you get those switches just makes a face
Be happy, Demo. Be more like us. Be... Be happy. Fitter, happier, more productive. Oh, hey there. Face of coins. Face, 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 face of coins, 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 face of coins. Coins, coins, face of coins. Somehow lost. Took damage there. This is Gorn. So, this is our sort of confined space. We gotta be careful, though. There's one other chance to get down below. Oh, wow, that's tough. There. cool idea for a level, or a section of a level. <laughs> and the switch. Very, very cool. Oh, interesting. There's a section we could have swam under. Since we're here, we might as well mess around with some of these other levels. Maybe specifically the ones that rhyme, or the ones that have alliteration, like smoldering stones. Let's give it a shot. Hey there, guy. Do you know what it feels like to have your feet burned by hot stones? You don't? Well, you'll soon find out. Oh. <clears throat> Got it. You have to keep running. If you stand still for too long, you just insta-die, like what happened there. That's an interesting tech. Or interesting bit of tech. Sure. 
Diagonal fast throne. We should have assumed <clears throat> that that one would be diagonal to you. Interesting. I don't know how to get down there. Oh, we need to be super. <clears throat> what this even is. <clears throat> oh, the spin jump doesn't work. Okay, well then, we're just wasting our time. that a thwomp had become enraged after landing on a switch of sorts. That switch has been found to this day. Or has never been found to this day. That switch has been found to this very day. Wait, what? <laughs> this mystery has been solved every single day since it began.
Yeah, what's your problem, Thorpe? Are we just supposed to keep doing this? stones. Crazed crayon combat. Or comba. I think it's supposed to be combat. <laughs> Crazed crayon combat. That is a snake with a Koopa shell on its head. Interesting. Extremely lucky. Missing that the first time. of my former self. It's a toughie. So close. <laughs> okay, I, lo I love the aesthetics of the platforms here. 
the ruler, everything. It's cool. <clears throat> Love this frog statue. Some really cool aesthetics in this, for sure. And we screwed up. Nothing we can do there. Hmm. Well. <clears throat> Pretty cool level. Let's just see if there's any other ones. Further over there, down to green. P-Switch Beach. If you pronounce that peace sweet speech, then it rhymes. Skythorn Valley. Forest fever. Okay. There's some alliteration. And then just a beach. Okay, let's try forest fever. Let's check it out. I dig the music. That's cool. They turn the uh, lava lotus plant that shoots fireballs in all four directions into a frog that uh, shoots hearts that hurt you. <laughs> and the charging chuck has been replaced by a potted plant, a daisy, that hugs seeds at you. Or petals. It's actually throwing petals at you. That's pretty fun. Take the high road. <clears throat> Interesting idea for reskins for the enemies. That was a bit of a glitch, a bit of a something that happened, who knows. She can really do. <laughs> so close. Okay. Can pass that. Oh. 
literally just talking about this song very recently. It always gets stuck in my head. It's still an earworm for me. Which is a literal P. Oh, that's lovely. I don't want the music to stop. I bet you have to bring it with me. Some cool little uh, audio glitches that we can kind of mess with. But I guess you can't trigger them. level here. Whoa, I like that. The cute little octopus. There's some cool uh, sprite moments here. I don't think we need this. P, it's been nice knowing you. Right? It's not a P switch, it's just a P. I just want to say thanks to everyone that's been hanging out today. It's been kind of a, a low-key one. It's a busy day at work, so... Usually tends to be pretty low-key on, uh, on stream on those days. Um, tomorrow I will be live at 5 p.m. Pacific. Probably rocking a different theme for the Retro Roulette. And if you're a member of the Discord, feel free to suggest a theme if you like. Um, we've got all sorts of different things planned for the channel. And the next game that we're going to do in our Mario RPG series is going to be Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, which will be a little later. And in the summer, I'm planning on doing some Mario Sunshine from the 3D All-Stars pack on my Switch. So we'll try that out. But anything else? Any suggestions? Anything you want to see me try? If you want to see me try a challenge like the Frog Suit one-hit KO challenge that we did. Looks like we froze here. Um, or if you want to see me try something like a randomizer that we haven't tried, or, or a couple of randomizers back-to-back, -back, something like that, let me know. Uh, yeah, it looks like we the game froze itself, but there's some pretty cool levels in there. I really like the Crayola one, and I like the creativity behind the, the hot rocks, so you had to keep running. That was really interesting. But I want to say thanks to everyone who, who's hanging out. I will be live tomorrow at 5 p.m. Pacific. If you're watching live on Twitch, thanks for hanging. If you're watching After the Fact on YouTube, feel free to check out the next uh, episode, part 13 of our alliteration and rhyming themed retro roulette. It's part of the playlist, so you can check out some of the previous episodes and stick around. We're going to raid someone. Let's see who it is.
we're gonna raid Itarama, who's playing some Horus. And I really, really enjoyed watching Horus recently over on Free Needle's channel. Let's go hang out with Itty. I'll see you in the Discord, and I'll see you in the next stream. Take care.